How's it going guys? Today I thought we'd do a little video on Tales of Despairia on the Xbox 360. About to head to the ice flow. Pretty close to the end of the game, I think. Oh, yeah. uh, what is it, Raven? You first, kid. What are you moaning about? That looks like a Pokemon. Kind of <laughs> What's wrong? Yeah. Oh. What do you know? We're right there with you. It may be some light air sickness. The amount of air in the world is growing. I love the uh, art style of this. It stays true to the uh, older ones. This is um, number five or six in the uh, in the list. So can we just go all out? Oh, wish you're writing on it. That's for a fun style, a lot of grinding. Yeah, it's a lot of grinding. All of them are. All the grind, all the tails of grinding. Every single one. This might be six or seven. Uh, right. Can you pull up your, um, yeah, do a level on each one? Do a, yeah. 88? They can see it's right there. Right. Yeah. What is the uh, attributes of each one? Right. He's a swordsman. Oh, yeah. Sword. Oh, yeah, look at your tax strength. <laughs> Golly. Magic. She has whips and stuff. About 33 hours of uh, gameplay. Right now. Yeah. Right now. So it's a big, big, super fun game. Let me turn it a little bit. Get them stats. Yeah, he's, he's the strongest character. Yeah, he's badass. They already got him up there. There's the. Uh, <laughs> He's smoking a pipe. That's freaking awesome. Trying to get a boat in there. I don't even have a healer right now. The healer got kidnapped. Who who kidnapped him? Kidnapped her. Of the uh, main. Oh, it's a girl. Yeah. Is that the girl with the pink hair? What was her name? Uh, Estelle. Her real name is Estelle, but they call her Estelle. <laughs> like the Sega Saturn game, Estelle? Yeah, yeah, they call her that. Her full name is Estelle. I'm not sure if that's good now. I like the, the battle. That's what he said on this, too. The, the battles don't take a long time. They're pretty quick and efficient. If you're prepared for the for the area, yeah. Wow, that, right now these guys, want, these are early in the game. So the uh, enemy pick up the random; they just appear and you can't dodge them or nothing. Yeah, you can dodge you can them. You just do it for XP. No grade. Oh, you'll see. Uh, what well, at the end of this battle, these are going to be from all over. Those are pretty badass. Looks like Ice Shark Wolf. Whoa, look at that. Little big magic thing. Oh, sweet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> see this grade down over here? Yeah. At the end. No, no. Uh, see the grade? No, one okay, point. yeah. It adds up at the end of the game after you win. You can do a new game plus, and it'll, you can buy stuff with that grade. Depending on how much you have, like, you do. Each armor or weapon? No, like XP. Like the monsters, you can make their XP ten times more than what they had the first time you went through. Or tw I think you can get up to twelve times more to build up your the points. Experience points. And then the, I don't know what LP. None of the other ones have the LP thing. Oops, I can't do. But the, yes, yeah, the experience points to see if you, it'd be ten times at seven hundred and thirty-five. Oh, sweet! So it'll be on thousands. Yeah. Instead of just 735, it'd be 10 times that. Sweet. That's what, uh, you go through it the first time. I just go on through it to get graded the first time, then the second time you go through You can keep your all your nicknames. You can buy where you keep your nicknames. You can buy 10 times XP, and then there's a 2 times XP, and they go together if you get them at the same time. To 12? Uh-huh, and then you can get, like, 10 times 
the gold. Gold is yeah, your that's currency. The money. And then, uh, let's see. Uh, I think you can keep your skills that you earn. Your weapon, you get your skills from the weapons. See, this not, not, see, special super chain and bastion. Right. That's the skills you have to earn off of them. The more battles you do, you, you'll earn and be able to keep them instead of just being equipped on your sword. See, this is all my skills. You have to use a weapon to be able to cast that. Mm -mm. All right. No, no, this just they're just skills. They're just there. See, like you'll get. Does your weapons increase your skill level? Like if you get they a better... add skills, they don't increase oh. it. So you like strength will be on one certain weapon. Right. You have to use that weapon a certain amount of times for you to him to learn strength, and then you get to keep it even after you take the weapon off. To apply to the next weapon you use, no. or yeah, just to, is... just to keep it. Right. But you can, you have to equip it after. On the weapon, see how it says weapon behind special? Right. Even though it ain't green, it's equipped automatically because it's on the weapon. Oh, yeah. The they have a similar thing to Defiance. You learn, you basically skill out on that weapon, uh -huh. and then you switch to something else. Or keep it, and it gives it an extra attribute, too. Like, uh, you'll be able to siphon their powers or gain um, shield like whenever you get hit and get low shields, it be boosts your shields levels up. Yeah, but this one's, uh, you don't get the, <clears throat> if you take off the weapon before you learn a skill, you won't get to keep the skill. It'll come off with the weapon. Uh, that, but but see how it's not green? Right. The green means it's equipped, white means it's not equipped, but if it has that weapon behind it, it's automatically equipped because it's on the weapon. Okay. And then uh, you can cook. You gotta learn. You can find these chefs. They'll teach you how to cook. It, these just increase the uh, stamina for the party, yeah. or that it just individual has to eat it. No, it's the whole party. Oh, sweet. A juicy meat patty topped with savory. Like slightly throw out a little bonfire and cook something up, and right after a battle to well, heal up everybody. No, this or in this battle. Just, no, it's just it's not fun. It's, yeah, it's just fun. Sweet. They don't show nothing really. It just it'll slightly increase attack for a little while. You know, some of the older games they would have where you'd go and it would show you a little tent, a little fire, and everybody when you'd be cooking, doing the same basically thing, healing the party up all yeah. at one time. Or Let's some see. of them I That's did. That's my gold down there. Wow. That's good. Yeah. I can see it. One sixty-eight, eleven twenty-five, six hundred eighty-one. Yeah. That's awesome. Hey, buddy. You sure can. Everything going good in there? We're doing a video for you, too. Alright, be careful, buddy. You can sit down. Oh, no, I'm cool. I'm be right here where um, you can hear. You talk loud enough to... Um, it's always clear for your voice on there. Um, I'm really digging the music too. The music is very uh, soothing. We should really enjoy I like the battle music. Awesome fighting, Froststone. What does the uh, Froststone do? What Froststone item? Yeah. You throw in oh, like no. crazy enemies. That's to make weapons. Uh huh. You make your weapons. Up. You can buy weapons and then you can make weapons. The, uh, do you oh. like forget a forge area like where you cook? No, it's at the item store. It's really synthesized and put stuff together and make it. Work. So you have to have uh, at, the, at, at the item store to you just give them your components and they uh -huh. attach it. They had that same uh, thing on Parasite Eve, yeah, where you had to take your stuff to the uh, the little uh, police guy in that in the uh, shop and get him to modify your gear. Be in danger. And if we let that happen, we won't be able to go near the capital ourselves. All the more reason to 
stop talking and start moving. I like, he's my favorite character in the Tales games. The main character on here is the dude with the black hair. If, uh, what's his name? Yuri. If you, uh, uh, you're a bad guy and the show is going to call and even if you get away, he'll hunt you down and kill you. It ain't, he ain't like the other uh, heroes that'll just let you. you know, yeah, if, you, if if a court, that court, it's kind of like Daredevil. If a court doesn't find you uh, guilty you, and he knows you did it, he'll go. He's already, he killed like three people. One guy, he stuck him in a sand pit, and let the sand just cover him up slowly. Oh god! <laughs> the other guy, he threw, he cut it, cut him in half, and threw him off a bridge. One guy, he uh, threw him into the sand pit, and let him just sink in it. They give the uh, he give the punishment to the crime. Uh, yeah. Well, they killed a lot of people. Right. One one of the guys it makes them suffer for their what yeah. they did. One of the guy that he cut in half and threw him in the river fed humans to monsters and just watched it. Right. The other one made was had slaves. The one he threw in the sand pit and let them sink in it was taking the people from in town and putting them out in the middle of the desert and then leaving them there. And that's what he. Yeah, he put him in the sand. And let him, and yeah, sand down, and breathe it and yeah. go in his mouth and dry him out like like a mummy. They finally found out that he was doing it, and he's like, uh, "That's my path. I choose if I do it." <laughs> right, you can't stop me. Yeah. Oh, if you get two monsters close, you'll we'll double destroy them in count. No I've got that same sword spin in uh, one of my games. Um, so was that okay? Beautiful. And they actually talk to each other at the end of the week. Right. Communicate. Um, okay. They have their own AI. Yeah, you can't control them. I mean, you can, but you can only control one character. That's what happens when I get serious. But they, yeah, there's a lot of monsters, a lot of grinding. Ridiculous. All the tales are ridiculous amounts of grinding. If you're one level below, they're always going to be at least five levels above you. Sorry about that. <laughs> She's about as long-winded in her spells as um, Storm is of calling up something. Get your ass kicked before you ever, before you ever get it out. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, look at Tales of Vesperia, and uh, it's freaking awesome. The new area. Okay, old man, we get it already. The agent has lower body temperatures, you know. Uh, I wouldn't care for the heat in that desert. You're gonna slip and fall if you don't shut up. Oops, too late. <laughs> Watch it there. We old folks are fragile. Sorry. 
Man, this is really some place. Sort of a cross between mysterious and just plain creepy. There's swords coming up out of the ice. Yeah, they seem to be all over. Just what kind of place is this? I thought so fair got its name from the sharp cold, but I guess I was wrong. I don't think you were too far off with cold as a boy. What's wrong with him? Ah! Whoa. Whoa. There's gonna be something about to fight. What was that? It's big. Oh, okay. yeah. Is that an Antelikea? No. I don't sense intelligence in it. So it's a monster, right? We'd be in trouble if that thing attacked us. It shouldn't bother us if we leave it alone. Let's go. You're practically walking in the snow in a bikini. Mm -hmm. Cow! That thing's like an orca swimming up underneath that water. Huh? Oh, Alright, guys, pick it up.